Do you find it sometimes difficult to find the right brush to use while painting? Or you're looking for the triple zero and you're having a hard time distinguishing it from a one or the double zero? Well, if that's the case, I might have figured out a simple way to organize and better identify brushes so when you are in need of a particular one, it will be very easy to tell which one is which. Hello and welcome. My name is Charlembos. I go by Bob. I'm not your typical painter. And today I'm going to share with you a very simple and easy way to organize your brushes and to be able to identify them when you're looking for that particular brush among a bunch of others. But if you're here for the bottom line, the method I use is colored tape and rubber bands. But if you want to hear more about why I do it and show you how it benefits me and how by accident I stumbled upon this method of organizing my brushes, stick around and I'll show you. A long time ago, I bought a paintbrush that I use quite frequently because it was the only one of its kind that I owned. It was a 10-0 liner. And to this day, I still have it. It was a Princeton Velvet Touch paintbrush. I ended up liking it since it lasted so long. And I'm not sponsored by them. I do use their brushes because I do like them. But at the time, it was the only one I had and it had a UPC on it, which I never took off. And when I ordered more, because I like those brushes a lot, they did not have that sticker from the store I bought it from. But when I needed the 10-0 liner to do things like grass or hair, it was easy to identify thanks to this. But it didn't strike me right away that this is a good way to identify brushes until recently when my little brushes started to get worn out. I'm currently working on my landscape painting that has a lot of sheep in it. And I'll probably be on it for a little longer. Probably a lot longer. Anyways, while working on the painting, I started to need some new paint brushes, particularly very fine ones, especially for a lot of the little details, such as the portraiture of the sheep. As you can see, I already did four, and I'm not going to say they're all finished. I'll probably go back into them a little more at one point. It just happens that a lot of the fine detail brushes all look the same. And sadly, at one point, these brushes, they lose their fine tips. And when that happens, I grab new ones to replace them. But I still wanted to use these for less fine detail, where it's just pushing paint around and then use these guys to actually do fine detail. But I want to tell them apart quickly from all the other brushes I have. So I added this rubber band on this one particular brush that I first replaced, which is a 3-0. And then when I needed a 18-0, I added this yellow sticker because I wanted to identify these two brushes very quickly. So I found that that tape and the yellow sticker on these two brushes made it very easy for me to identify which one's which, and it made it less confusing if I wanted detail or just to push paint around. So I said to myself, why don't I do it for every other brush I use very frequently and have a hard time distinguishing which brush is which? Which leads to my colored tape solution. As you can see, these brushes are hard to identify real quickly, especially the very fine ones I have. So I figured by putting some tape, it will make it a lot easier to pick which brush I need a lot quicker and easier. It beats reading a little number. But picture this, if you're trying to paint and you have a lot of brushes and they all look the same and you need a particular one for a certain section and the only way to identify these is by all the little numbers or if they are faded it's even harder now picture this I'm looking for the three zero and between these three it's this one because I remember from the yellow tape so I grab this one for something like an eyeball or a little line 
that carves out the mouth or nose of the sheep. But the point is, it was very easy to identify. And that, in some ways, spared me a lot of time looking for the right one, because I instantly grabbed the yellow one. And if I wanted to use something not as fine, I would do the two, zero, or just the one. Now, I don't do this for every brush I have, just the ones I use very frequently and look the same. It's up to you how you tape or rubber band or identify your brushes and hopefully makes your life a lot easier and simpler picking out what you need from a whole batch of brushes that all look the same. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. Hopefully you find this tip helpful and useful as well. It's simple, but it spares me a lot of trouble especially when it comes to picking out the right brush a lot quicker. Once again, my name is Charlambos. I go by Bob. I'm not your typical painter. Thanks for watching and check out my Instagram if you want to see more of my work, not your typical painter, of course. Anyways, stay tuned for more. Bye.